Right guys, welcome to LGM. Being unemployed sucks. But you know what sucks more? Job hunting. Uh, you may know that I'm currently unemployed and I'm looking for work to pay for life. I've been looking since June, July kind of time and I have got nothing yet. The problem is with the application process. Over the past fortnight I found five or six jobs that I wouldn't mind doing. So I've been looking up all the websites and everything and just applying. But they ask so many stupid questions. Uh, some of my favourite questions include, give an example of when you've done good customer service. How do you define good customer service? I mean, the customer walking out with a product from your shop is could be considered good customer service or... Uh, I don't know, talking to someone? It's a ridiculous non-question, essentially. Another good one I've had uh, for a job was... Um, bearing in mind, this is before any sort of interviews or anything. This is purely just going on the website and applying. One I quite liked was... Um, how are you going to get to the job? Are you going to walk? Are you going to use a train? Are you going to use your car? Are you going to use this, that, and the other? Is it... <laughs> Why does that matter at the moment? Why does that matter right now? I haven't even met you yet. And on these application forms, there are these weird little blind avenues where you have to put in like the same information over and over again. On one form I found you had to upload your CV and obviously your CV has got like your uh, academic achievements on it. So it's got your grades, your degrees, uh, GCCs, A-levels, that kind of thing. And then on this application form, you have to put all that in again, literally the page before is upload your CV, page afterwards is and now put in all the details that are on the CV. Why bother uploading the CV or why bother having the questionnaire? Just have one or the other. There's odd um, screens where you have to put down whether you're white British, white Irish, you know, white Scottish, white Welsh, black Irish, black British, black Scottish, black Welsh. It says, oh, no one's going to look at this. Why am I putting in this information then? <laughs> Plainly someone is going to look at it because you've asked me to put it in. If no one was going to look at it, you wouldn't ask me to put the information in there. It's a really long-winded process, and you can't... You have to go through it to get a job these days. You can't just apply in a shop. You can't just hand in your CV somewhere. For example, I was in a supermarket the other day, uh, and as I was paying for my items, I said to someone who was around, a member of staff, uh, do you know if there are any jobs going here, mate? He goes, uh, yeah, I know there are two. We've got Christmas slots opening up, but you're going to have to apply online. Can I apply in store? Nope, nope. You've got to do it all online. It's ridiculous. I mean, even if, like, I don't know, the manager of the store was, like, just in the other corner, you wouldn't be able to go up to him and say, excuse me, I'd like a job, which would arguably create a better impression, first impression on your potential employer than just some bit of paper or electronic paper that's just been submitted online. And then there's the whole thing, like, you have to put references on before you've even met these people. That's weird to me, because, you know, if you use an uh, fill out an application form for a job, uh, you don't immediately get the job as soon as the application form goes in. You know, you, there is an interview. You have to talk to, like, the manager of the store, or, like, someone in authority has to just see you in the flesh to check that you're not an idiot. So why can't they just ask for references then if they think there's a problem? I don't understand why they want this much information before they've even met you. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's only low-level work that I'm applying for. You know, I'm not applying to be like the manager of a uh, chain or something or, I don't know, have any big position of responsibility. I'm literally just applying for customer assistant jobs at the moment. Uh, all that kind of level of work. And for that you don't really need to like have loads of academic qualifications. You don't need, you know, to have had loads and loads of employment history and all of that. You just literally need to be able to do the work at hand. I don't get why you have to have these references. That the references thing has been references thing has been messing me up slightly because the last job I had as in paid job was a very very part-time job uh, back home for about a year 
uh, where I probably worked about what 20 days of the year or something like that and that job was in 2008 since then I've had no uh, employment history I've done a couple of volunteer things but I haven't uh, done any actual paid long-term work so when some of these sites say oh you have to put in two references and they won't allow you to fill out the form unless you've had two references it screws people like me who haven't had much work experience getting into the system it also screws over people who have been out of work for a long time uh, like, and need to get back into work for whatever reason you know they say you can only have what uh, references from the past five years I'm pushing that like 2008 it was six years ago but it's the only employment reference I have so I have to use it otherwise I've got no references at all it's a load of fuss and bother where it literally doesn't need to be anyway I'll see you on Thursday for Castle Crashers I might be doing something game wise for Halloween but I'm not sure yet uh, yeah anyway See you in the future. Bye.